ladies and gentlemen undertaker is getting canceled or mark calloway as as, as he is now because uh he's definitely not the he's definitely not the same person that tried to you know keep kayfabe you know throughout all these years undertaker is just that persona is kind of like just dead at the moment it's just we don't we don't even talk about it <laughs> so kenny i'm gonna throw it over to you man let us know about this situation bro they're trying to cancel your boy man let me know first of all i don't care what the undertaker or mark calloway does this man cannot get canceled. He is the greatest of all time. But, I mean, he said some pretty outlandish stuff here. But you know what? I can forgive him for it. I'm not going to judge a man for his political beliefs. Whatever he believes politically is none of my business. I mean, I'm glad he's brave enough to go out there and support what he wants to support. So, big shouts out to The Undertaker. But, Brian, the young man was going crazy. So, um, a few things. So, one thing he said in this interview, and it was really Donald Trump saying it, but he was kind of co-signing it. So, you remember the big um, hoopla that went on about the young lady who won the Olympics, the boxing lady? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So I don't think Trump was very educated on the situation. I think he was just like a lot of us were, like I was, like reading what was going on Twitter saying, um, this is a man, it's a transgender, he should not be boxing these women, but... Um, this person was actually born a woman, a woman, and apparently they have just like more testosterone. Listen, I'm not going to get too deep in the weeds about it, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's a woman. But Donald Trump and The Undertaker sat there after this woman sued a few people for calling her a man saying she shouldn't have won the Olympics. They sat there and pushed that narrative out to the world. Donald Trump said, have you seen the man who was fighting that woman in the Olympics? Undertaker was like, yeah, yeah. So even though he wasn't saying it, he kind of co-signed what Trump was saying it. Mm -hmm. And um, the Undertaker brought his daughter in and he was sitting on, uh, she was sitting on his knee and they were like, you wouldn't want to box a man, right? So, I mean, things like that, it got kind of nasty. And for Donald Trump to be running as the president and, you know, pushing this narrative about uh, out about this woman, I think that was a bad look. Now, did you see that clip? Um, honestly, no, I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I know that he that they said what they said about the lady, but I didn't know that they went that deep about it to make an example out of it. Yeah. Um, again, bro, I don't care about somebody's political takes like I know um a lot of people just tend to do that with a lot of wrestlers um mm -hmm. like they do it to tiffany a lot they call her Tiffany um, Stratton, um, Tiffany Stratton? yeah they they MAGA. call her Ma maga tiff so i mean <laughs> hey, bro. Too, right yeah her too so they do it to a lot of these wrestlers man um and again i would never stop supporting somebody because of their political views when you're wrong you're wrong though and i do think that you know going out there and keep pushing this agenda um that's definitely wrong in my opinion everybody has yeah. their own beliefs and if you guys feel some type of way or you guys feel like no that's fine like not mad at you bro everybody got what they believe and that's just what it is now canceling a wrestler for their political takes is just a little od to me because it's like bro wrestling is wrestling a person is a person just because you see this person on tv does not mean that you know they're just this person that believes what you believe like everybody has different beliefs and i can never stop liking somebody um because of their political beliefs bro it's just yeah. politics at the end of the day ah for sure for sure and the thing my problem is um a lot of people are calling for the undertaker to be canceled i saw rj city you know i like rj city but he was kind of burying the undertaker because he was doing this interview as well but um like you said, you can't really judge somebody by their political beliefs, but when you get on there pushing those bad narratives, and I think you kind of got to take a step back and like, okay, listen, like I don't care that you're doing this interview with Trump, but you guys got to be studied up and know exactly what you're pushing to the world. Because while we could say we're not judging the Undertaker for his political beliefs, which, you know what, I'm definitely not, some things they were saying during that interview is not good. Brian, you were telling me something they were saying about uh, during the interview about... Mr. Dave Batista, who we know is a very political man, public, like he's public with his stuff. So um, yeah. big shouts out to him as well, uh, because it looks like he's on the other side of the fence. Is that correct? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, yes, it is correct that he's on the other side of the fence. But um, a lot of people were saying that him and uh, Batista are close, like Taker and Batista. So uh, they're really? saying that it's it could be like not a work, but like one of those things where they're just kind of oh, just throwing yeah. friendly shots at each other. Yeah those type of things so that's very possible as well so that's the only reason why i'm like i looked into it but i'm not looking too deep into it because these people they 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 know what they're doing i don't think they'd be willing to you know mess up a friendship over politics like knowing what yeah. it is you know but exactly what did he say though 
Um, he basically said you can vote for Trump or you can be like Batista. <laughs> <laughs> so as y'all know, Batista, I think um he's like left wing or whatever. Um, so he pushes for Kamala, he pushed for Joe Biden, like he's very on the opposite end of what the Undertaker's doing right now. And I mean, the Undertaker made that statement: either you can vote for Donald Trump or you can be like that guy Batista. So if they're friends, you know what? I agree. I think, you know, you can't really take a look into it and think like he's trying to hurt Batista or be uh, evil or do things maliciously. I think, you know, uh, he was brave enough to say it during the Donald Trump interview. I think they got to be pretty close. And maybe they even have political talks with each other. And I really like that because if they stand on two opposite sides of the fence and they can still come together, be friends and uh, support what they both believe in. I think that shows strong character and personality because these days it's like if you don't agree with somebody, they want to stay away from you. Like, they're like, oh, he believes this politically. I'm not going to associate with him. Like, who cares, bro? Believe what you believe. And if you like that person for who that person is, then it doesn't matter. Who cares? So, I mean, that's where I stand on that. Yeah, no, nah, I definitely don't disagree with you on that. I think that people just got to just, I don't want to say mind they own because this is something that was brought to the internet. But, bro, I guess don't take it so serious, bro. You don't got to be so upbeat about everything. I'm not going to rock with him because he does this. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, everybody got the freedom to do that. But me personally, I'm going to stick to just liking the person for who they are and not for what they believe in. Because I think we all have different stuff that we value and stuff that we prioritize more than maybe the next person does. And that might be the reason why the next person wants to, you know, vote or support somebody else. But I just don't think there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with it. Yeah, true. So, I mean, we got a few wrestlers getting canceled here. I saw a little graphic. I mean, it's crazy that they're trying to cancel people for their political beliefs. But Tiffany Stratton was one of them. We had The Undertaker on there. They had Kane. Uh, Triple H, I don't know if he publicly. Well, Kane, Kane be tripping, I heard, like, because he's the mayor. So he's, he's a he mayor. He's the mayor. But yeah. he's a Republican mayor, and he has right. the Republican beliefs. So when I see the things he's saying, I'm like, okay, that's what his party believes. So I don't think it's too out now. Listen. I think on both sides, they got some pretty outlandish stuff they believe. Like one side's very harsh and one side is very soft. Where do I stand? I'm going to tell y'all straight up, right in the middle. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm not judging anybody for their beliefs. If you stand on one side, I get it. If you stand on the other side, I completely get it because neither side is perfect. Brian. I got one last question for you before we get out of here. And I need you to be 100% completely honest and transparent with me. I already know, bro, what you're about to ask, bro. What you about to ask? What you voting for? <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning into this video. <laughs> Don't forget to drop a like on it and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're brave enough like The Undertaker and you want to put your stuff on Front Street, let us know in the comment section who you are voting for. But just don't forget to interact. Drop a like, smash that subscribe button. You can't cancel The Undertaker because we're going to love him forever.